Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Josh. I am the co-owner of Genesis Exotics. You can visit us on the web at www.genesisexotics.com. Today I'm just going to uh, briefly touch base about our bio bioactive soils, what they do, and what makes them so unique uh, compared to other types of soils you can find at your local pet stores. Um, again, my name is Josh. Um, I have been uh, in this industry since I was about 13 years old. Started keeping green tree frogs and bearded dragons and leopard geckos when I was 13. I'm now 28 years old. I've been working extensively uh, with keeping many different types of amphibians from all over the planet, as well as breeding many different types of rare tree frogs and dart frogs, while also breeding uh, pygmy chameleons, veiled chameleons. Uh, I've also worked with crocodile skinks, fire skinks, leopard geckos, bearded dragons, and the list goes on and on. Um, with that being said, uh, I uh, am a firm believer in science, and I'm also a firm believer in studies. The biggest thing you want to remember about studies is that they're all subjective. So just because one study can speculate one thing does not mean that that is actual fact. When there's actual numerous studies that are pointing to the same fact, that is when you can really rely on it to be credible. With that being said, uh, I am very blessed to have access to something called the Veterinary Information Network, um, which is, uh, which is a, a host that many veterinarians have access to, uh, to look at studies as well as also read medical journal journals that involve many types of uh, reptiles and amphibians, so that way I can come up with proper uh, husbandry treatment and know exactly uh, the biology behind of how the things work that I, that I care about so much. Okay, so basically what I'm going to go into is how it works. Uh, it, 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 it's a really simple concept. And basically all it is, we are utilizing organic nutrients that are breaking down in your tank and turning them into a viable nutrient for your plants and your soil to continue the natural cycle. So basically what we're doing in nature and almost every single biotype, as organic matter breaks down, it is broken down by heterotrophic autonomic bacteria, which is the, which the primary driver of that bacteria is carbon. They, the bacteria uses the carbon dioxide, utilizes it into a nutrient, breaks it down and releases carbon. Carbon is then utilized by your plants and your soil and everything else to be metabolized into other nutrients which go back into the soil which creates the carbon cycle. Carbon is the most active element on the planet. We as humans are made of carbon. These tanks, their baseline atoms is that you're always going to find a big C in there. Everything is carbon. We're essentially, with the bioactive ecosystem, replicating that natural cycle that happens in the wild while having springtails and isopods in there as a backbone to that organic natural process. So with that being said, our bioactive line uh, consists of many different types of soils that are suitable for different types of biotypes. Uh, the first type of biotype that I'm going to touch with is the jungle floor, which is the very, very bottom layer of the rainforest where it's extremely humid, the soil is extremely wet, and it is very, very, in some places, muddy. Our Genesis Exotics Jungle Floor Bioactive Premium Vivarium Substrate is great for tree frogs, dart frogs, toads, Pac-Man frogs, uh, uh, salamanders, and terrestrial stages of newts. Um, it is designed to hold humidity, but it is also designed to drain all the extra water into your drainage layer. If you have too much water retention in your soil, it starts to grow bad microbes. It destroys the necessary air pockets that um, are maintained in the soil, which help bring up your springtail and isopod populations, and it also will cause root rot So if you in your plants and kill all your terrarium plants. So if you don't have proper drainage in your soil to go into your drainage layer, it will essentially clog and destroy everything that's, in, that's, that's living in the tank with exception of your uh, frogs or your newts or salamanders. However, with that being said, the biggest thing to keep in mind that if the soil is waterclogged too long, the bad microbials will grow and it can actually cause secondary skin infections to your frogs. So the biggest thing to keep in mind with our jungle floor, it's good because of the following. It drains, 
it creates those necessary air pockets for beneficial springtail and micro uh, springtail and isopod growth. It also creates those pockets for proper root development in your plants. Um, it, uh, it not only does it aerate your soil, but it also uh, drains excessively well, which helps uh, ex uh, speed up the process of your biodegradables breaking down to keep the essential nutrients cycling within the soil. Okay, the next substrate that I'm going to cover is my Terra Fauna, a premium bioactive vivarium substrate. Now, this substrate I designed particularly for, you know, your neotropical geckos, skinks, and other lizards. So, animals such as uh, gnolls, uh, uh, crested geckos, gargoyle geckos, lichianus geckos, fat tail geckos, uh, blue, uh, blue tongues, uh, the smaller, the pink tongue skinks, the uh, some chameleons such as panther and veiled chameleons, your fire skinks, your crocodile skinks. This is all designed for those types of animals that live in a neotropical climate where the humidity typically doesn't reach above 70 percent but typically doesn't drop below 35 to 40 percent. This soil is, is composed of it, it, it composed of many different types of ingredients. One of the primary ingredients that we use is coconut husk uh, as that creates the necessary air pockets for the spring tail and isopods uh, to populate within the soil to create a sustainable population. It also has the, creates the essential air pockets uh, for your live plants. It retains humidity perfectly to the point when it will never become sopping wet, and but it will never become bone dry. It will always be the happy medium in between, which is what you want for your type of for any type of ground dwelling gecko or uh, any type of, uh, of animal that will live on the ground. Now, again, the the, the terrafauna is is designed uh, to last. Uh, for a very long time in your tank to create your self-cleaning, self-maintaining, bioactive ecosystem for all of your neotropical lizards and skinks. Alright, last but not least, which is my personal favorite, is our Terra Firma Premium Bioactive Vivarium Substrate. Now, what the Terra Firma is designed for, it is designed for burrowing animals, such as snakes, larger lizards, um, iguanids, box turtles. Basically almost anything that lives in a humidity range between 30 percent and 55 percent. The firma is designed to hold humidity at the bottom layer but dry out on the top. So as it's creating the necessary air pockets for your proper uh, plant and root development, it also has the pockets for beneficial microfauna uh, to, to develop the dirty spring tails and ice pods, as I mentioned before. But the best thing about the firma is that if you have a deep layer, you can take your fist, put your fist right through the bottom, and it, it will retain the tunnel. This is, this is great for, for, small, for your smaller uh, monitors as well that like to have tunneling systems. I had an Aki's monitor on this for many, many years, uh, and he had little underground tunnels all, 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 throughout, his, uh, all throughout his 90 gallon. And he would always peek his head out like a little prairie dog and jump at the pinky mice and catch them in midair out of his holes. Uh, I've noticed with the firma, um, if you give them a deep enough layer, it brings out a lot of the neat little instincts uh, in your animals, which is another reason why I like it. So, terra firma, plain and simple. Retains humidity at the bottom, but doesn't get too wet on the top. Has the beneficial air pockets for springtails and isopods and for proper root development. Lasts an extremely long time in your vivarium and it retains a burrow. So not only for these big animals and these beautiful snakes that typically don't have the capabilities of having a nice planted living vivarium, this gives you the necessary components to do so. Again, my name is Josh. I am the owner of Genesis Exotics LLC. You can visit us at www.genesisexotics.com for all your bioactive supply and feel free to contact us with any questions you might have. Thank you very much.